You know, John, a fire may be the last thing you worry about leading up to a wedding, but now a family, your guests, now the owner of what used to be a beautiful bed and breakfast, are now figuring out their next steps after their belongings were destroyed in this fire. More than a century of history. It was all held together by wooden pegs. A thriving business, not to mention countless hours of hard work, now burned to the ground. You kind of walk on a, a deck here and into the main facility, and you turn this way, and this is over here. That's what's left of my bedroom. Justin Peary owned what used to be Good Place Farms Bed and Breakfast before a fire ripped through it Saturday night. He was there with 40 people who were guests at his bed and breakfast. They were in town for a wedding. A lot of material things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not our lives, but um, everything other than that. I mean, passports, driver's license, um, flowers for the wedding. Vivica Moss, the groom's mother, says the wedding went on as planned. She's thankful for neighbors who gave out blankets, gloves, and made drinks the night of the fire. They were just so gracious at a time of need and just being there, sometimes just having people who are just there even when there's nothing that can be done. One of those neighbors is Casey Birch. She says giving is what this community does best. We did it for several hours that night until Red Cross Command. I mean, that's where the bulk of the flames were coming out. Peary says some people even offered him a place to stay. He says while he's lost so much, Countless blood, sweat, and tears. This community is helping him move forward and giving him the motivation to rebuild. As for the wedding, it did go on as planned. It took place about an hour away, and the family asked for their privacy at this time. In Rockbridge County and under Rochita, WSL less 10.